John Boyega, I was going to say Finn, has been doing some interviews for a show on Amazon, I believe. Where is this show details? Um, it's Small Axe and it premieres on Amazon Prime November 20. But he has been doing some um, interviews for that. One of them was with Yahoo Entertainment. And let's let's have a listen because he, he talks about um, the Colin Trevorrow script and, and, and Finn leading a Stormtrooper uh, revolt in that. The um, so many, you know, we've got production. I, I want to do a, a podcast going through that one day, the, all the leaked production art from Jewel of the Fates. But um, John Boyega has uh, checked out the alternate script. Maybe he saw it years before us. I don't know. I don't know. So uh, let's check out this little conversation. You were talking about how uh, you felt that Finn was sort of sidelined, as the prominent black character was sort of sidelined by that. Uh, and the response is obviously a little controversial to that. I mean, do you think people come after you will have an easier time because of what you did uh, and the role you took on for Star Wars? I don't know. You know, I don't know what the hell they're going to do. I just felt like it was just important for me to talk about a truth that is, is embarrassing to talk about because you, no one ever assumes the right thing of you. They're always going to assume the most negative. So if you're saying something like that, it's, you know, he's just trying to be prominent. He's just trying to be, it's like. I, I, I do want to jump in there to support John on this, that so often when someone speaks out about um, minority roles in, in shows, television, in the media, or um, the, you know, the balance of sexes and stuff, it's always, it's easy to blow off their complaints with, oh, he just wants a bigger role and it, it's just about him. Like that's, yeah, that, 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 it's like an easy way just to dismiss it totally. Um, you know, and, and when it comes down to many people saying the same thing, then maybe, you know, there's something, you, you've got to sort of um, reflect a little bit and, and, and try to adjust that um, way of thought, which is easy to jump to, but it, it, it's not really fair um, because it takes away any voice that um, that people have to express this stuff when it's just like they're doing it for selfish reasons. So it's, yeah, so let's keep going. Yeah, because I'm trying to do what I was offered. I'm trying to fulfill my job. And we all know that what makes roles so lucrative is the moments that you give them. If Captain America doesn't show out and show down and isn't giving scenes to boost his representation and to make him enjoyable for you guys, we won't think he's cool. So why shouldn't black characters and black actors also fight for that same kind of representation? Why are you helping me? because it's the right thing to do. Well, certainly Finn's arc, it felt like in the first movie was set up as sort of being the person who, who liberates a lot of the stormtroopers, or, you know, the First Order troopers. They come with him. He shows them an example, and it didn't quite go that way. Is that the story you hope they had told? I do, actually. Um, and, and I think Colin Trevor was going to tell that story because um, the, the concept art in, in the Star Wars book has that image of Finn with the blue flag and the ATTs, and they have them lined up in tribal marks, and then the stormtroopers take off their helmets. Yeah, man, that would have been sick. That would have been dope, man, hands down. Do you hope it's still told someday, maybe, and maybe like in an in alternate universe, we'll come back for that? Well, the great thing, you know, I'm a, Man a Mandalorian fan, so Lucasfilm are doing very, very well with the, with the TV shows. So if they could do it in TV, do all that kind of stuff, man, I'd love to watch it. But would you come back for it if they did animated? Oh, Keep man. pressing, good. Yeah. Animated would be actually be dope. We could do it from home, all that kind of stuff. <laughs> Excellent, I'll hold you to that. We'll make, we'll, we'll try and get it to happen. <laughs> Yahoo Entertainment, which um, Michael Nip breaking a bit of a, a scoop here for him. He had no idea Yahoo still existed. Well, there you go. You heard it here first or last on um, the Steel Wars Hyper Chat. So, um, as I said, that is some, um, yeah, you can't just, it's too easy to brush it away with, um, you know, oh, it's just, he. It, it's all about him and all that sort of stuff. But, um Entertainment Tonight did a similar article 
interview, Kevin Frazier. I must say, um, John Boyega has posted up. He's doing this in short. He's doing all this press from his house. He posted up an image and he's a, he's a up top business and, and downstairs. Um, he's just he's kicking it pantless, essentially, um, wearing some shorts. So uh, he was having some fun with that on Instagram. Let's go to entertainment tonight and check out a bit more about um, how his castmates reacted to his GQ interview and his possible future in Star Wars. Mm -hmm. Hey, in that great GQ. Um, All right, let me know now, guys. Talk about your experience in Star Wars being different from other cast members because you're a man of color. And um, how was that received by your castmates? How did they take that? Full support, full support. Um, I got a text message from, from from Daisy. I mean, we talk we talk all the time. So, mm. I, but but to be fair, we I'm really really close with my castmates. Specifically, you know, Oscar and 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 Daisy and myself and Kelly had really transparent, loving conversations that I will never forget for the rest of my career. So we were all already speaking about things, you know. So this me saying this wasn't really a bit of a shock to them, but they they they, they did text me to say they support me. How important was it that you said, I mean, we on the outside realize the importance of you stepping up to say something like that and to say what you said in the park. But how scary was that for you, knowing that, you know, there are people out there who may take that the wrong way and say, oh, well, I'm done with this, dude. Yeah, man. I, and, I, and I understand that because, you know, the narrative, you know, as I said, no one's ever going to assume that I'm, you know, telling the truth, right? It's hard for people to even yeah. see things are positive, And I understand that. Um, um, but I don't care, you know, the, the, one must always uh, talk about things so that in moving on, perhaps because I have now come out with this for the next actor being in that position, that's now not going to be an alien conversation. There is all, there's always another actor who made that topic prominent to refer to, to help have those conversations in these spaces. And also, you know, many people of the industry have reached out um, to have these transparent conversations. Um, and 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 that has really really helped. Will you do another Star Wars? Would you do another Star Wars? I don't know. I've always said I don't know. I don't know what's going on with Star Wars. I think um, well, I'm alive. That's 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 what that's one thing. Wasn't he quite against? Like he'd never do. He wouldn't do Disney Plus. I thought that's what he, that was one of his. Concerns. He does joke around a lot. So um, but um, I'll, I watch a lot of these interviews, John Boyega. So don't 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 trip on me, buddy. I've dealt with you before. Here we go. But it will just depend on story and it will depend whether Daisy and Oscar, you know, are, are coming back. I wouldn't want to be riding around by myself or anything. <laughs> if my man was wearing... All right, there's an ad there, so uh, we'll, we'll just cut that. I'll put that sound off. But I, um, I did get a little bit of a, an excited chill when he talked about it depends if Daisy and Oscar would come back so he doesn't want to ride around by himself. Come on, guys. Star Wars Episode Ten, As I think it's Horace Burkhardt, the great man, the bit of knowledge himself, um, put forward. Episode 10, 27. Is it 27? 2027. 2027, 50 year anniversary, Star Wars 10, having these guys come back, oof, I would be, uh, I'd be so up for it. Uh, Jordan Rennie says, feel sorry for a lot of the stick Boyega gets. He loves Star Wars like all of us. Yeah, you know, he's like he. I know he's sort of had little sub arguments with like parts of the fandom and, and, and maybe, um, you know, what, you know, it's that having an, a little argument about like Star Wars storyline, like this stuff that he's talking about, it's completely like above that in, in, in importance. So um, yeah, if, uh, if you're on the fence, then, then, you know, listen to what he has to say and um, sort of take it in. Um, Michael Nip says, hoping for a lot of new Kelly Marie Tran interviews since she's doing Raya and the Last Dragon. 
Um, Mary Reed says, I would love to see more of them and Kelly Marie Tran. It would be so awesome. Hey, I didn't mean to uh, leave Rose Tico in the corner. I'm, um, I, uh, I just always think about the, the main three, the main, main three. So uh, I don't know if there's anything more in this John Boyega one, but let's just see. Let's go back to entertainment tonight and see what's going on. How important was it doing these stories with Switch? Ah, okay. Then he talks about the um the project, and you know, I'm just a a one minded Star Wars fan. So uh, that is, if you want to check him out, it's Steve McQueen's upcoming anthology series, Small Axe, dropping on BBC and Amazon Prime um, in November. Boyega's episode, Red, White and Blue, premiering December 18th, features Boyega as a real-life metropolitan police officer. So um, there you go. And, of course, we get Rose Tico, as Bracken's pointing out, in the holiday special very soon. I, With the holiday special thing, I just was thinking about this the other day. I, I wish that they did the interviews about you know, where, what Ray would need right now. And so I, I wish they just wouldn't even talk about looking that far into it because it's just going to put people offside, just do a fun Lego adventure and don't um, try to make it more impactful than it, it needs to be. I um, It's Lego. I just want jokes. It's, um, I, I don't need to know about where Ray's at because... Hey, I'm up for this Star Wars episode 10, but I don't want to hear anything more about them. <laughs> that, like the, the post Rise of Skywalker storyline for a couple of years. I'm good. Although I am excited for this uh, holiday special. Hey, you guys. Thanks for watching. If you have any thoughts on the clip, drop us a comment below and I'll be sure to hit you back. And if you want to hear the full episode that this clip came from, check out our Hyper Chats. The link for this episode will be popping up on the screen pretty soon, as well as the latest episode, which we record Monday to Friday live. All the times are below on the ticker. Hit subscribe, get involved, and may that force be with you.